This is the four grain scratch feed for the chickens. They can smell it. I've been soaking it and rinsing it. So this is like day three or four. Let's give them They like it. So now we're gonna just move over some water and start to saturate this grain. So what I do is I separate these really quickly while I'm cleaning the grain. All right, now I'm gonna walk us down to peach tree behind me right here, which is coming along. Some of these are almost ready. Check them out. I'm gonna pick that one. Oop. Perfect. I'll have to cut some of the worms away, but they're looking good. Here's another one. So yeah. Like I was saying, about five weeks ago, I was bit by a tick on my underarm. And about two weeks after that, I noticed it started to get irritated. And I had kind of said, oh, I better start paying close attention to this. Well, four and a half weeks later, as I was taking my shirt off to get ready for my brother's uh, wedding rehearsal dinner, I noticed that I had blotches all over my body. So I had not only a bullseye on the back where the tick bit me, but I also had a satellite here and another bullseye satellite here and one on my knee. And my scalp was really terrible and it was really painful. And um, by this point, we ha I've, I, I figured out why ha I had been feeling so terrible for the last week since that prior point. It just started getting worse and worse. I had about four days worth of headaches, um, nauseous, um, digestion issues. Yeah, it, it hit me. Everything hit me. Headaches, um, neck aches, um, twitching, muscle aches. Yeah, it was, it, it was a wild ride. Um, thankfully, my wife, who's an angel, when we figured out what it was on the way up to the uh, rehearsal dinner, we had um, a telehealth with a, with a walk-in clinic who got me um, the doxy which is a 21 day uh, supply, which is what you wanna do for Lyme disease when you know it's Lyme disease and have it bad. A lot of people get um, fevers with Lyme disease. I don't personally get fevers ever. I don't spike fevers, which is abnormal, but that's just something my body does. So that wasn't an indicator, um, but I sure felt bad. Um, this is, uh, I've been on the medicine for so today's Wednesday, so I've been on the medicine for five days and I'm feeling much better. Um, most of the issues are gone. My joint pain and my knees is, is going away and in my arms. So I'm feeling better in my shoulders. Um, but I'm also taking um, some medicines that my naturopathic doctor is suggesting, um, which is like another type of antibiotic, but it's natural. Um, and it has a whole bunch of different flowers and... and um, oils in it like oregano and stuff so I should I should help eliminate anything that's hopefully any stragglers in my body because the Lyme disease is a bacteria and how it works is um, it gets into you from with the tick and it starts to spread inside your body and it can go all over the, the entire body and cause havoc in all the different organs um, and you can even cause death. So you, you do want to be very careful about this. Um, so this is maybe consider this a public service announcement. Um, take ticks, tick bites seriously. This is the second time I've been bitten where I've gotten Lyme. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay with um, my recovery. However, I've never experienced it like this. Um, five weeks into it, I was, I was in a lot of pain and I was starting to get really confused. Um, 
So yeah, I'm happy I figured out what it was and I'm happy I'm on the road to recovery. I have to buy some sort of um, scythe. I think I'm gonna try to use a scythe to clean up some of this area. That's the tall grass. I don't believe I got it here, but um, I'd like to clean it up a little bit anyways. But yeah, here's the peaches, I promised. This tree is ready as well. So I should probably start harvesting these and bringing them in because otherwise the squirrels will eat them all. But this, these are all ready. Let me see if I can get you a good view. It's tricky on this time of day. So one thing about the medication that I'm on that the medical doctors gave me, which is that doxycycline, it has issues with uh, sun. So I need to make sure I have a hat on and I need to, really I need to stay out of the sun. So I'm gonna try to stay in the shade, enjoy some of these peaches and share any of the rough parts with the chickens to make sure that they know that I'll be giving them treats all the time whenever there's any bad parts, I'll get, make sure I give it to them. These birds think that they know who's boss. You gotta go in. Gotta go in. There you go.